Hey guys, um, I want to tell you not to buy this um, Whirlpool electric stove from either Best Buy or Whirlpool itself. Okay, this one is the one that has the Wi Fi into it, similar to this microwave right here. So, this stove got some serious issues with the temperature. You set the temperature for 375, 350, or whatever. Uh, I purchased this stove on <clears throat> November, and I actually made a turkey on December, and I cooked the turkey based on recommendation from the specification of the turkey. Uh, it was a 24-pound turkey. It's set to cook for seven hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The turkey was cooking more than seven hours and the turkey was never cooked completed. I ended up taking the turkey to my mom's house to finish off the turkey at her party. Um, this, temp this stove has some serious temperature calibration issues. So, like I said before, right now I am cooking some potatoes in the oven, in this stove right now. I set 375 a hour ago. Okay, I'm cooking these these um, potatoes for almost two hours, and it's been almost one hour, and the temperature, it's still reading. I have an internal temperature that I put in here because I kind of like was worrying about the temperature level is not increasing based on the specs. As you can see right here, the temperature reading is not even above 350 degrees. It's been like this ever since I turned on the stove. Okay, so this stove is having some serious issues. This is the Whirlpool black stainless steel. It's brand new, pretty much brand new. This is the model WEE750H0HV0. Okay, this is the model I repeat. Model WEE750H0HV0 as in Victor, zero. This stove has some serious issues with temperature issues and I will be calling Whirlpool. They're gonna have to swap this thing out, okay? This is uh, this stove cost me $1,300 and I don't recommend this stove to anybody, all right? I had an old stove from Whirlpool, the one I replaced, and it was a almost 15 year old stove, all right? it never had issues compared to these newer models now so i don't know what's going on with these um stoves they cost a lot of money and they're being built cheap my other issue is this is not ceramic this is not ceramic they lied okay the guy at best buy told me this was a uh, scratch free ceramic glass all right it's a lie. It says ceramic here. This this is all scratched up already. All scratched up. All scratched up. Scratches from the same pots that I used with my old stove that had a similar glass, but it was actually a pure hard ceramic glass compared to this. This feels more like a glass. Transparency. Look at look, look at the trans transparency. So this stove has serious, serious issues. I also had these replaced already. The knobs. These knobs are breaking inside. They're cracking inside, okay? Let me show you. This knob is cracked. They're all cracked in the same way. It's all plastic. The inside is a metal, but this is the outside. It's all plastic and it cracks. And they're all cracking and I had some replacement order from Whirlpool and like I say I do not recommend this stove whatsoever look at it again this is the Whirlpool all wireless stove model WEE 750 H0 HV0 they suck the material 
It's not stainless steel. This is actually a painted, coated stainless steel. It's not stainless steel itself. It's just a sticker on, coated. It feels very cheap. Poor design. So many issues already. Temperature, calibration issues. Doesn't calibrate. As you can see right here, I have 375 degree Fahrenheit. It's been cooking for a long time and the temperature is still reading. Not even 350 degrees. All right? That's proof that this stove got some serious issues and Whirlpool is not recording any of these issues. Thanks for watching.